Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to tell you three reasons why double wides are better than single wides. This was supposed to be a follow-up to a video I posted on Christmas Eve that said three reasons why single wides were better than double wides, but to be perfectly honest with you, I completely forgot to make it until now. If you're trying to decide between a double wide and a single wide, they're both great options, but one is going to be the better option. Which one that is, is going to depend entirely on your personal situation. Both options stand out in their own way, so depending on what you need, what you want, and where you're going, one is definitely going to be a clear winner. What I'm gonna do is talk about the differences in layouts, looks, and where they can actually go with the hope of helping you decide which option is gonna be the best for you. So let's do it. The first reason double wides are better than single wides is their ability to accommodate people who want or need more space. Every factory is gonna be a little bit different on what exactly they offer, but for the most part, double wides start at around 1,000 square feet and go up to over 2,000 square feet. When you compare the extra space you can get from transitioning from a single wide to a double wide, you'll quickly realize it's not just a clever name. You can almost double the square footage of your home. For this example, let's look at a lot that would accommodate a home up to 66 feet long. They do come wider, but in most areas, the widest single wide you can get is 16 feet wide. So if you take 16 times 66, the max square footage you can get for that lot is 1,056 square feet. If you did a double wide the exact same length, but with a standard width 27 or 28 feet wide, you would get a home that's 1,848 square feet. If you're a person or family who needs a little bit of extra space, that 792 square feet is going to feel absolutely massive. In 1,056 square feet, you can easily fit two bedrooms and two bathrooms, but add a third bedroom and things start to feel a little bit tight. In a home over 1,800 square feet, you could fit five bedrooms and two bathrooms without having to steal any space from the living room, dining room, or kitchen. The benefits of a larger footprint don't stop at the number of bedrooms and the added floor space. It also allows for more open and desirable configurations. A single wide is limited in layouts by the shape of the home being more like a corridor, which means each space will essentially be stacked onto the next. If we look at the 16 by 66 foot floor plan again, you can see it goes bedroom, bathroom, living room, kitchen, utility room, bedroom, bathroom. So even though this is a great plan and open concept by single wide standards, you can see that each space flows into the next. If we compare that to a double wide of similar size, you can see that the extra width allows the home to be laid out in a way that has better flow. The kitchen is open to the living room, which is open to all three bedrooms, and that is made possible because we have an extra 11 feet of width that allows for more configurations. If you're the type of person that likes a little more elbow room in your home, or you put a lot of importance on how the floor plan flows from space to space, that's the first indication you're probably better suited for a double wide. Here's an example of how the extra width of a double wide allows for more configurations and better flow throughout the home. This is a 27 foot double wide, and right now I'm standing in the living room. But as you can see, the living room opens to the dining room, which opens to the kitchen, and just here off your right, you've got access to the second and third bedroom and another living space. So within one section of the home, we have access to four other areas in the home, which just makes for better flow when you're actually living in it, rather than having each area stacked on top of each other. The second reason double wides are better than single wides is the look. I've been selling manufactured homes since 2009 and I can't tell you how many times people would come in and say something along the lines of, I'm looking for a home, but I want the one that looks like a real house, not the long skinny one. First of all, how dare you? They're both real houses. I'm not gonna let this video turn into a rant, so I'm gonna keep this train on the rails. The truth is there are a lot of people who prefer the look of a shorter, wider home because it more closely resembles the look of a traditional site-built home that they're familiar with. I personally love single wides. I think they're great and they're a large percentage of what I do. However, they're not for everyone and that's just the way it is. Beyond the actual dimensions, there are more options available to improve the look of a double wide because it ships in two pieces. A single wide comes out of the factory totally finished and because it ships in one piece, the structure and roof line are limited to the height and width of the road regulations for wherever it's going. To give you an example, here's a standard sheet for a 16 wide. You can see it's a 412 roof pitch, which can't be changed, and it says 16 inch HE 
no side or end eaves. That means you get a 16 inch eave on the hitch end of the home and nothing on the sides or back, which is pretty common in the industry. You can add an eave to the sides. I've added eaves to four out of the last five single wides I've done, but whether or not that's available in your area is going to depend on the maximum shipping widths wherever you are. If we have a look at the standards for a 27 and a half foot double wide, it says 18 inch residential eaves on the side standard and a 412 roof pitch, which can be upgraded to a 612. The eaves and the optional 612 roof pitch make a big difference in the curb appeal of the home and are another reason why people like the look of a double wide. Another benefit of the added width and having the home built in two pieces in relation to the look is the ability to offset one side, which just takes away that perfect rectangle and gives the home a little bit more character. This works really well with a home that has a porch at the end of the home. You can see it's just offset that little bit, which gives the home a little bit more pop. Double wides are a more traditional home shape and offer more exterior options to customize and improve curb appeal, which is reason number two, they're better than single wides. The final reason double wides are better than single wides is they're allowed more places. If you're looking to buy the land for your next home, you're gonna find that most places have restrictions that prevent single wides being in town on city lots. If you're looking at lots and mobile home parks, this doesn't apply. Single or double, it makes no difference. However, if you wanna buy the land, it does get a little bit tricky. One of the hardest parts about the entire home buying process right now, at least in my area, is finding a lot that you like that will allow for whatever you want to buy. Earlier this year, I was in the market for a lot and it took months before I was able to find something even close to my budget that met all of my criteria. All I wanted was something in or close to town that would accommodate a 27 by 60 foot double wide. That's it. But finding it was no easy task. And had I been looking for a lot that would accommodate a single wide, that would just eliminate even more lots and make the process that much harder. Where I live, the minimum width allowed in town is 18 feet wide, which doesn't actually completely rule out single wides since we can now get 18 foot single wides. However, I wouldn't be surprised if that bylaw changed. In today's insanely hot real estate market, I think it's important to keep your options open. And my concern would be trying to find a lot that allows for a single wide right now is going to be harder than finding a black cat in a coal cellar. Keep your options open because right now, finding anything is hard without pigeonholing ourselves. If you've decided you wanna buy a manufactured home and own the dirt underneath it, the third reason double wides are better than single wides is because you're going to have a much easier time finding said dirt, especially if you're looking in town. All right guys, we're taking a little field trip so I can show you a subdivision that has manufactured homes, it has modulars, and it has site-built homes. It's a combination of all three, but one thing you won't find, well, let's check it out. Look at that, there's a little modular in there just being finished, come around the corner, few more modulars. This is a good example of a neighborhood that kind of has a little bit of everything going on. There are manufactured homes. I don't see one right now, but I know there are some in here on, oh, okay, there's one right there. Right on the corner, that's a manufactured home. So that's actually sitting on blocks. Like I say, we've got a little bit of everything. You can see there's a Cape Cod style down there. But one thing you're not gonna see in this subdivision is single wides. Manufactured homes are a great housing option, but if you're just starting your search, it can be hard to know what is the best option for you. Single wides and double wides both have their place, but if you like a little bit more elbow room, like the look of a more traditional shaped house, and want to own the lot in town, I think a double wide is going to probably be the right choice. If you made it this far into the video, let me know which option you prefer and why. I'm always really interested to hear everyone's feedback. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.